Hello, all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. It is time to update my mini lip project. You girls gotta go. You're becoming a problem. Um, so this was a project I wanted to do like last year. I probably should have done like a hundred years ago, but never got around to it, and now I'm doing it. Um, so basically what I have here is a whole crap load of uh, mini lip products. I've got lip glosses, I've got liquid lipsticks, I've got uh, some lip balm products and lipsticks. I've got, I've got the lot. So in my first video, basically I just took you through everything I had and told you which ones I was getting rid of. Um, I didn't really do an intro where I just showed you the products and then went off and did my thing. I basically did the, the whole first chunk of it before I even filmed the first video. So I had something to show you guys. Um, and now I have been left with lip products. I currently have 48, yes, 48 that I am doing a thing with, but those numbers have changed for reasons. So let's go through those reasons and those changes. Let's start with uh, my Black Moon liquid lipsticks. I'm missing one. So I had two in the project and um one has gone walkabouts i don't know where it is eventually i will find it and i'm decluttering it along with this one um this one is a shade libra and look we're gonna we're gonna get into some swatchy swatches uh these smell <sighs> yes they smell like i should eat it um this is an absolutely beautiful color it is such a me color. It is stun, 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 hun. Um, but I need to come to grips with the fact that matte liquid lipsticks and I, we don't get along. This is not a match made in heaven. Um, I have paired this with lip gloss, lip balm, all that stuff. See if I can make it work. And what I have concluded is that I can't make it work, it's unrealistic, and I need to get rid of it. It's not to a detriment of the product, it is simply that I have dry skin, I have dry lips, I prefer a glossy or like demi-gloss finish on my lips, I like my lip products to be comfortable, I definitely don't want them to dry out my lips, and this being a matte product, it does do that. Um, and when it comes to mixing a matte product with like a glossy product or a hydrating product, this isn't something that I'm really going to want to do on a regular basis, which means this thing, I could eventually go to the grave with it because it would take me a lifetime to finish it up using it in that way. So it doesn't make sense for me to keep it. And the ultimate goal of this video series is to finish or get rid of all of the little mini liquid, uh, mini lipsticks that I have here, unless it's something that I love and I'm like happily using. So unfortunately the Black Moon liquid lipsticks have to go, but if you like matte liquid lipsticks, I would rate these. They're like, don't be scared of this formula, it's nice. Their nude shades are stunning. Go for your life if you're into it. Um, next I have the NARS American Woman uh, Power Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm really sure I have this in the full size. Um, I think I have a couple of these in the full size. And I did not just do that. I just, oh, Mayday, Mayday. Send help, I need an adult. Oh, I just poured it in my tub of liquid lipstick. Uh, oh God, I've got liquid lipstick on the brain. I, I swear, I am so struggling to be an adult these days. I don't know what is going on, but I'm struggling. I'm hardcore, just like, I can't brain, I can't do anything, um, I'm useless. Um, don't forget to give these a shake if you own them. 
Power Matte Liquid Lipsticks from NARS. These are really nice. They have a beautiful thin formula. Um, let's, let's get this. And again, this is a beautiful, beautiful colour. But I just don't... It's matte. It's matte. It's matte. And I need to not keep them because I know I'm not going to wear them. When I'm putting on a matte lip product like this, I just find that it's a fussy application. I find it's more fussy than just a normal lipstick. Definitely more fussy than like a tinted balm or gloss or something like that. And I I don't really like the results because my lips are dry anyway. When I put this on and they dry down, I feel like my lips get a bit prunish. I don't think it's sexy. I don't really want my lips to look like that. And I'm not really precious about my lip products wearing for a long time. I, um, I mostly wear balms and glosses these days. So I, I'm happy to reapply them. Um, I don't, I don't need my lip product to last all day. So matte lip products and I just not, it's not really a thing anymore. Um, I do have some full size still in my drawers back here and at the end of the year I will do a declutter and I will get rid of more of them. I got rid of a lot of them last year when I decluttered and I got rid of some the year before when I decluttered and over time I will probably eventually get rid of them all um, because yeah it's not it's not a product that I need to have in my life anymore because they don't it's not made for me. It's not made for someone like me, basically. These are to be enjoyed by other people. It's, I, that And that person's not me. So, it is what it is. I do have another matte lip product in uh, this collection or uh, project. <laughs> Look, if the words coming out of my mouth don't make sense, please just bear with me because I'm... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not together at the moment. I'm not. Um, this is a YSL Tatouage Couture Matte Stain. This is in uh, 16. I'm not sure if it actually has a shade name. It's not printed on here that I can see. Um, so, again, this has a really nice thin formula. Um, you can really see like the kind of colors that I like. Um, Again, it's it's matte. It's matte. And I, I've talked about matte products at length at this point. So I think it's, it's just it's time time to go. It's time to go. So that's three, uh, technically four items because I've got two of these. I just don't know where the other one is. I do have some other lip products that are no longer in this project. They are Bare Minerals Kitty. So it would have looked like... Uh, probably one of these guys um, and I'm also short Nas Barbara and Nas Bet so they were the audacious lipsticks now I went up to Sydney in April for my cousin's wedding and I did uh, some makeup on family members um, and I took a bunch of the little lipsticks that I'd only swatched and basically used them and let them take them as touch-ups. So those three are gone as well, um, which is fine because, you know, if I can find a home for them, then good. Uh, because let's face it, it is currently the end of May and um, I haven't actually finished another lip product in this project. So, you know, <laughs> problems. Don't wear lip products much. And when I do, I'm wearing stuff like this. This is the Fresh uh, Sugar Rose... Uh, fre <laughs> fresh Sugar Rose uh, Tinted Lip Treatment. So, I have two of these in the project. I also had... Uh, the, what color was it? <laughs> I can't remember. So the other shade that I had in here was Tulip and two of the rose. Now Tulip, I didn't like the color. It's, I don't know. It's just too pink and too garish. But Rose, on the other hand, mm -hmm, I like this one. This is really nice. I've been keeping this in my bag. This is what I have left. Um, and look, if I... 
if I wasn't also working on some other stuff I would finish this easy um, but I have like this little pot of lip balm in my bedside drawer and uh, I have like I've been working on it for a long time it's almost done it's so close so I've kind of been reaching for that more um, I've also been reaching for this a little bit this is the Kevin Aquan glass glow lip in spectrum bronze um, so this is nice I like the formula of this um, but it's slightly metallic as you can see I think it looks fairly flattering on the lips in terms of like a metallic lip gloss <laughs> This is probably like, you know, a safe bet for me to be comfortable wearing. Otherwise, I'm not really into the metallic lip thing. Um, this is nice. So I've kind of been using this a bit. And when it comes to the colors that I've been wearing mostly on my lips, again, I find I'm gravitating towards these very easy to apply, um, emollient, like almost like... <laughs> You could say that they, they're sort of on the more tinted side rather than like solid lipstick, like cream lipstick. Um, this is a Clarins Jolly Rouge lipstick in the shade 705 Soft Berry. This one I've been wearing a lot and I mean you can see there's not, that's wound up as far as it will go. Not too much product there and you can see it's not like a seriously like opaque lip product um and these two these guys have been getting a bit of a workout as well i have um the girl lip stylos from hourglass i have the shades peacemaker which is this one here um look i'm not close to being done with this that's it like wound all the way down and that's it wound up there's not much product in there but um to give you an idea of colors this one's Peacemaker, you can see. These are actually more, um, they've got more pig pigmentation than the Clarins um, lip product. And Influencer, this one is, actually, that's a, a good comparison. You can see, like, you know, how, blah, 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 where am I? Uh, you can see how much of each I've used. This one's almost fully fresh. I've only been, like, wearing down one of the sides. Um, so Influencer is a bit more, like, brownie nude. Whereas Peacemaker is a bit more um, like pinky mauvey nude. But I really like these. They've got a really nice formula um, and they're kind of comfortable. Comfortable to wear basically. Um, I have dug into some of the other lip products in here. But none of them to any like great extent. Oh there is something else that I'm realizing I'm missing from here because it's in my handbag and I've been using it and I look I shouldn't have done this because I could have had an empty product when I realized this was getting low I threw one of these in my handbag it's the Clarins uh, instant light natural lip protector I threw the pink one in my handbag thinking oh I'll finish up this guy and I will then move on to this and of course I forgot about the uh, sugar lip balm thing. <laughs> I've just been using this. So there's one of these in my bag as well. Um, I love these. They're fantastic. But this is the kind of thing that I gravitate towards. Um, I have also been using the uh, Velvet Lip Glide from NARS. Velvet Lip Glide makes me think of like could be verging, verging on like a matte lip product but they're not they're like a beautiful glossy um sort of sheer ish uh like lip product and they do actually set down over time but they wear away a little bit as well so you know they're not um i wouldn't say it's like a traditional lip gloss type product these definitely look glossy but also the way they wear is a little bit different to a lip gloss so there's that but really I haven't been making a whole lot of like progress on these types of lipsticks the traditional like bullet lipsticks I just don't reach for them that much I've known for a long time that lipsticks one of those things that I just should not buy 
very much of. I should stick to glosses. I should stick to um, more glossy tinted products. And I am gonna, I'm gonna admit, I don't have them with me, they're inside. I actually bought three lip products recently. I bought two of the M Cosmetics lip somethings, the glossy ones. And I actually bought an Illamasqua lip product as well. So, um, there's that. But they're all like that sort of tinted, hydrating, glossy kind of vibe. No, like, traditional lipsticks. And I think that's something that I need to try and remember. Don't, don't buy. Don't buy lipsticks, Hayley. Don't buy them. They're not... Oh, my neighbours are going off out there. Um, don't, in a good way, they're having a good time they're happy um, so if you hear that sorry but it is what it is um, yeah so buying normal lipsticks just not a good idea for me I have so many of them and I don't wear them often enough I think um, you know buying one normal lipstick let's say this is a normal lipstick in its formula with that like cream opaque lipstick formula like this guy Buying one of them a year is pushing it for me. Like, that's that's how often I wear lipstick. I just, you know, I don't wear it anymore. I like, I like stuff like this. I like stuff like this. It's, you know, quick, on it goes, little tint. That's it. That's, that's the extent of my, how much I can be fucked with a lip product. And if it requires like any sort of precision I lose interest so quickly <laughs> so yeah that's uh that's a, a habit that I need to um accept I like sheer and tinted products um I will actually just say if a lipstick is a traditional cream formula like this guy here and it has like a thin applicator like the hourglass confession lipsticks i'm much more inclined to wear them but when it's a traditional bullet like this even though this is like a little one i'm just like i have thin lips i can't be bothered <laughs> can't be bothered so yeah um it'll be interesting to see how many of these get finished my guess my legitimate guess is that I will finish all of these type of like nice easy to wear products and I will be left with basically this at the end of the year. I reckon that's what's going to happen. That's my, that's my like, my prediction. If we were taking bets, that's where I'd put my money. Um... And uh, yeah, now I just need to change my my purchasing habits to make sure that I accept that that's who I am. I like easy to wear lip products. Okay, guys, so that's it for me. I will be back in a month with another update, but also hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, back soon with another video. I've been struggling with just adulting lately, so getting content out has been really hard. Um, but also, let me know what type of lip product person you are. Are you into the liquid lipsticks, the matte liquid lipsticks? Are you into uh, traditional like opaque bullet lipsticks? Or are you a bit more like me where you're like, give me all of the sheer stuff, the tinted stuff, the hydrating stuff, the balms and the glosses. Let me know. Let me know what you like. And if you are doing a lip project uh, at the moment, let me know how you're going with it. Are you <laughs> like me and struggle or are you powering through your lipsticks because you wear them often and you reapply like a very good person throughout the day I am not that person I am so far from that person unless it's a lip balm I am not applying it or reapplying it every day <laughs> I can tell you that much for free all right guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one bye